agriculture, the backbone of civilization. But here in Taiwan, the next wave in farming will take place not just in the fields, but also in its labs. Cells, viruses, and bacteria will tackle mankind's perennial problems. And one problem Taiwan is addressing is something very close to home. 2008, now known as the year of the global food crisis. The price of rice doubled. Wheat prices increased by 200%. Prices for food were high and in short supply. Today, there are six billion of us. In 2050, there will be three more billion. The World Bank predicts we will demand twice as much food. Farming land will not get any bigger, but our populations will. How can we grow enough to feed burgeoning appetites? The answer is in the hand of soil scientist Dr. Yong Chu Chung. In this soil is a bacteria called Bacillus pumilus. It can make crops healthier, and without increasing land space, harvests can get bigger. Exactly what is needed at a time when food seems to be getting scarce. B. pumilus works this way. Plants require a nutrient called phosphorus. It tries to absorb it, but it cannot. The cumulus fixes the problem. The acids it produces dissolve the stubborn chunks. Now that it's nice and fine, the plant absorbs with ease. Unfortunately, in most soils around the world, a high-performing strain of B. pumilus is rare. That's why 90% of phosphorus in soil remains stuck and unused. Over the years, Dr. Young has discovered a strain of the Bacillus pumilus bacteria that proves to be more effective than the rest. This star performer is able to help plants grow stronger taller and with more yield. His goal is to create a fertilizer